I did the pill, the anastrozole, mm -hmm. and then I did the surgery, and then I did the chemo. Got it. It just means a world to me that they first figured out that I was a farmer and that they invited me to come here and to tell my story, help increase breast cancer awareness and help find a cure. If you are fighting breast cancer or any kind of cancer, or if you know someone who is, there is help out there. There are agencies that you can go to for grants. They can, you can get rides to treatment. You can get the kind of help you need. I have done a lot of work in the last couple of months with the American Cancer Society. They're tremendous. Lutheran Hospital is tremendous. The facilities are available. I want people to know what is available if you're going through cancer treatment or you have a loved one who's going through cancer treatment. And to not be afraid because there is help and the science is so amazing now. There are so many new cures, so many new things being developed all the time that just about every cancer is beatable in some form or another. Obviously not, we don't have a cure yet, but there is hope for just about everyone if you catch it early. It's just very important that you pay attention to your bodies, even young girls and young men. I, I get very sad when I hear women say they don't want to get a mammogram because they don't want to know. And uh, my friend said, uh, it's not like you're not going to know. You're either going to be terminal and there's no chance, or you're going to catch it early and beat it like we did. Freddie Steinmark did more for cancer research. He started it. And to be even in the same week, is, is amazing. It just shows what can be done and what Wheat Ridge High School has done and what Griff and Nick and the guys have really engineered a great um, history for this school. It was always here. I've always been a farmer. Freddie was always a farmer, but nobody really brought it to the forefront until Wheat Ridge this year. And it's great to see that we're celebrating such a terrific young man who was taken too soon but did so much before he died. I'm doing great. I just had a post treatment mammogram. It was a 3D mammogram, which is new technology, which enables you to see through layers of, of the breast. I am no evidence of disease. You're, you're never really cancer free. You just have to keep checking, keep checking, keep checking. But right now I'm good. I'm back to work. My energy's good. I'm um, slowly getting back to who I was. And my hair's growing. I'm lucky, I am blessed that I have a fight. So many people would love the fight that I have.